Hi everyone, Kathy here. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Thursday. We're getting close to the weekend. I wanted to share with you all some um, dyes that I picked up. And sorry for my voice. I'm getting sick and my voice is getting a little funny. So I'm going to try and get through this without having to stop or cough or anything like that. So excuse my voice. But I wanted to share with you all some dyes that I picked up from various um, vendors. A lot of them are Halloween, not a lot of them. I would say it's kind of a variety. There's a few Christmas ones, there's a few Halloween ones, and then just some general ones. So I'm going to start showing some of the ones that I picked up. The first one I, I'm sorry, my voice, I may lose my voice in this video. Um, the first one that I picked up is this one here. And this is a really nice, it's a big size die. It has a like a little haunted house on it. I haven't cut any of these out yet. But um, I'm going to do that probably this weekend if I'm not sick. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice. So that's the first one that I picked up. Then I picked up this one here. Look how cute this one is. This one is, and this one's pretty big as well. This one is a cauldron and it has the bubbles these little bottles look how cute that is so I'm definitely gonna cut this one out over the weekend oh my voice is driving me crazy I'm sorry I have a terrible sore throat so um, yeah I got the flu shot and ever since I got the flu shot I got sick so I'm not sure how that works but that's okay then I picked up this here you can't really tell but it's the word spooky I like it because it looks kind of drippy Oh, look, I have glue on my fingers. I, I'm going to show you some a project I was working on, too. So this says spooky. And then um, I picked up this one here. I love this one. This almost looks like a giant stamp, but it has, the, um, has one, two, three, four, five dies in it. And I thought this was really, really cute. So I picked up this one. And if I can uh, find all the links for these, I will put them in the description box. I hope I can find them because, like I said, they're from all different places. Now, this one here is really, really tiny. I didn't realize it was that tiny, but it says, Hello, Baby. I make a lot of baby mini albums. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm going to try to cut some of these. and Not today, obviously, but this one here is really cute, too. This is, um, let's see if I can open it because the sticker is right on the front of it. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can open this. Again, I apologize for my voice. This one here is really cute. Look at all the different shapes of sunglasses. And you can leave it like this and cut them all out at the one time. Or if you want to do them individually. But I think I'm going to leave it like this and cut them, you know, maybe different colors and things like that. Isn't that cute? So, I picked that up. And then this one here says Sparkle. I love this one. I love the script. That one says sparkle. This one says, well, let's do this one first. This one says happy. And I like these because these are like the shadowed ones. This is happy. And then this one says birthday. This one maybe. So I like that to put on a card. Even though I don't make cards anymore, but in case I have to. Isn't that cute? So it says happy birthday. This one here says treats. And this one's really cute. I previously bought it for um, Halloween projects, but you can use this one for anything. It doesn't, it's it's one of those really cute shadowed ones as well. So it says treats. Then I picked up these here. These are really, really cute. These are um, nutcrackers. And sorry for the noise. And these, you get three nutcrackers. Look how cute these are. So you get this guy, and you get this one, and this one. Let's go and hold them all together so you can see them. So you get, I don't know if I can do this very well. You get all these three. Isn't that cute? So you get the three nutcrackers. And I think when I cut this out, I'm going to cut it out 
several different times so that I have all the different colors. Um, and see how it comes out. I do have one that I'm going to use as a guide as far as coloring because as we know nutcrackers have all kinds of different colors. I picked up this little word right here. I thought it was so cute. It says home. I have a paper pad that's um, like a home, sweet home or something. And I thought this was really cute. It has the O is actually the little house. Sorry for my voice again. So that says home. Now this one here, I'm not gonna take it out of the package, but this one is supposed to be like a little uh, clipboard, but it came all bent up. I don't know if you can see it or not, and I don't think it's gonna work. I did contact them to see if they were gonna send me another one, haven't heard back, but it's all bent up, and I'm not sure that it's gonna work. So if it works, I will cut, I'm gonna cut it anyway, see if it works. And I'll show it to you when I get it cut out. This I thought real, is really cute. I'm making a mini album for a little boy in the sea theme. So I thought this little aquarium with the fish is really, really cute. So I'm going to do that one. I have glue all over my hands. So sorry. Look at this. Can you see the glue on my hands? Really? So that one's a little aquarium. Then I picked up this one here, which I love. This one says Wicked. And I'm going to use this on my mini album. And it has um, a little flower and a little spider. So it says Wicked. This one here is one of the gorgeous girls. And I'm going to use her. And I'm going to make a Halloween girl and a Christmas girl. And I'm going to put her on some tags. You can see the little dress down here. So I thought that was really cute. I may try to do that this weekend as well if I get a chance. I have several projects I'm working on. So I'm, I'm, I don't really have the time to do too much anymore, which really bums me out. This here, I am dying to cut this because I actually bought this for a friend of mine. She is absolutely in love with sloths. And this is supposed to be a sloth that you could put on a tree but what I'm going to do let's see if I can get it out what I'm going to do is I don't know how it somehow it becomes a sloth you can see the little face right here this is the tree and now I'm not going to put it on the tree but what I am going to do for her is I'm going to make some of the sloths and I'm going to put them on some paper clips for her so she can have them at her desk so we're going to see how that turns out I hope it turns out cute because she she has this huge sloth on her desk. She has um, a cup. She has a poster. She has just all kinds of sloth stuff. A big stuffed animal and just all kinds of stuff. Oh, that didn't work. I don't know what happened here. I guess the packaging broke. And then the last one that I have is this one here. And this one's also one of the uh, 3D ones. And this one says smile. So those are the dies that I picked up. And then I'm going to show you a couple other things here. Let me move these over. So I just picked up quite a few of them. I picked up some of this, um, what do you call this? Like transparency paper, I guess it would be. And it's I like it because it's, it's not that thin, which is good. Because sometimes when you're making like your little shaker cards, the transparency paper is so thin it just doesn't work out real well so i'm not sure how many is in here i guess i didn't remember what i i got it but um yeah so i i like it i tried it i mean i didn't try it but i took it out of the package and it's it's not real real thin so we'll see how that works out and then just to see how these were sorry if i with the noise again I picked up these little black roses. Let's see if I can get one out. They're little foam roses. Can you see them? Little foam roses. Now they have this one little piece of like this polka dotted um, trim, which you can take it off. That's just like popped here on the bottom. And it le if you want to take it off, you can. If you want to leave it on, you can. But I'm going to just show you the little rose part. Look how cute that is. And they're super tiny. And I love those. I, I got some black ones. I did order some other colors, but they haven't come in yet. But 
And the reason they haven't come in yet is because I only ordered this one to see, you know, the quality of them. And they really are super cute. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it too good. And this tool actually gives it a cute little decoration. But if you don't want it, of course, you can take it off. So, I, um, you get, let's see, how many, can you see how many in here? I think there was like a hundred and something in here on this package. And it was like two dollars or less so that's a good deal yeah I think it was less than two dollars it was a like dollar something so I ordered a couple different colors and I'm waiting for those to come in I think I got like an orange and a purple and a green and um, a bunch of different colors so yeah you get a lot in here as you can see there's a lot I think if I'm not mistaken I think and I don't want to misspeak, but I think there's like 144 in here. And I think it was like a dollar something for the whole package. So that is my share. Um, I am going to try to cut some of these dies out this weekend. Now, I know some of these, you all have already seen them because other people have picked them up. Uh, but the ones that you haven't seen, maybe I'll go ahead and cut those. I know I want to cut the cauldron. I know I, I need to cut the word uh, wicked out because that's going on my... Um, October daily. I do want to do the, um, what do you call that? The sloth and these little girls as well. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.